Hey everyone, my name is Oliver and I tried the law of attraction for many years, it never worked. When I finally learned the truth about how the law of attraction really works, and then I manifested my dream girl, my dream career as an artist, sold over 200,000 worth of my art, some paintings for 24K, I was living an incredible life and I manifested much more cool things like traveling all the time. And now I'm making these videos to help you guys. So even if you gave up hope, stay with me because this video will be your answer. So first of all, why did you find this video? I believe everything happens in the right timing. There are no coincidences. So I believe in divine timing. So that you clicked on this video means that you're ready to receive the answer and finally make it work, even if you gave up hope. Most things that we hear about the law of attraction just don't work because there's a key point missing that nobody really talks about. And I needed to look for it for a while. I read tons of books, lots of seminars, like lots of movies, signed up to courses, and finally I got it. There is one force that works against you. So no matter how hard you work towards thinking positive, making your vision board, affirmations every day, meditating and visualizing, it doesn't work if this one force is still working against you. In this video, I will reveal to you what this force is that works against you. Because as long as you don't find it, become aware of it and change it, nothing is gonna work. But once you change that, it's like a switch and suddenly everything you do, also the vision boards, the affirmation, the meditation, visualization, all these things will then help you to manifest faster whatever you want. With this negative force working against you, it's just not gonna work. And before I tell you what that is, let me tell you a personal story of how this negative force worked against me and how it almost destroyed my life. So it was like many years ago when I was really excited about building my own business as a photographer because I always had the dream of being self-employed, doing what I love and making lots of money from it because I could never see myself being in a job. That was like the worst thought ever. So I was like deep into the law of attraction. I found it from the secret movie and it sounded really good. I even was able to manifest the coffee, which really excited me. And I'm like, this works, but it didn't work for the other stuff, like for the bigger dreams, like being self-employed, making a living from what I love, which was back then photography, it just, it didn't work. And I, I really got frustrated. So first I was really excited and I moved to my brother two hours from where I lived and I had very little money, but it didn't matter for me because I knew the law of attraction, right? So I thought it all will work out, which is a good thought. But yeah, this negative force worked against me all the time. So what happened is one thing, one bad thing after the next happened. And I made no money. I found new, I, I couldn't find any customers. I was really struggling and I always kept myself positive. That's another mistake, by the way. If you try to be positive and this force is still working against you, it's just, it's not gonna work. That's what I want you guys to understand. It's like, no matter what you do about the law of attraction, if it's just like trying, you know, if you, if you do these things, but you have still this negative force working against you, nothing will lead you to results. So you have to, instead of doing more, you know, doing more of these strategies that you hear, more vision boards, more dreaming, more visualizing, instead of doing these things, start to focus on the negative force and eliminate it. Because once you eliminate it, all this energy that's actually pulling you away from your dreams suddenly is freed up and suddenly you're like a cup. Let's say, you know, the cup is full and it's full with negativity. If you put on, on top of it more affirmations, more vis visualizations, more dream boards and stuff, it's just, it's not gonna work it, because it's already full. And you can see the glass as being full with the negative force, right? So stay with me, I'm gonna explain what that means exactly. So back to my story. Once it went, it was that bad that I was actually, I had no place to stay. I needed to go out of the apartment. Luckily, the universe still supported me because I always believed in that. And the, the universe literally has your back. So don't be afraid that it gets worse and worse. I mean, sometimes it will, but the universe always has your back. And so for me, I had no place to stay anymore. I needed to move out the same day that I went to a shooting. And the shooting was for like a fitness influencer. And, it, and the TV came. And she then told me that she also got another photographer. And first I was a bit offended because I thought, am I not good enough? You know, like, why do you need to take another photographer? I didn't know that this photographer would save my life. So I went to the shooting, we all met, we made some photos. And at 
lunch time, I told them I have to go. And they were a bit, they were asking me like, why, why I already need to leave? They are not done yet. And then I explained them my situation. So I said, I, had, I have no money. I have no place anymore. I don't know where to go. And then it turned out that the guy, the other photographer, was a real estate agent. And he made a few phone calls and got me, got me an apartment. Which was like, it's actually mind blowing to think that. What are the odds that I go there to the shooting, which I shouldn't even have attended because I would have, I should have, you know, worried about my, my situation. But I still went there because I felt guided to do so. He made a few phone calls and got me an apartment. Then I was in this empty apartment, no furniture. I was sleeping on the floor for several months. And this negative force just became stronger and stronger and stronger. And I tried it all. I tried to be positive. I tried affirmations. I was reading books. I tried to put up my frequency, but it didn't work. And it didn't work because of the negative force working against me. One night, it was really bad and I couldn't sleep. So I went outside for a walk and there was this homeless person. It was like a woman and she looked down. She was literally, she was walking like this. And I was going out for the walk, see this person looking very scary. And she walked the opposite direction of me. So I was walking there, she walked there. And suddenly she turns and walks into my direction. And she just walks after me. And she looked seriously scary. I was, my heart was racing. And I was thinking, this is a demon. I literally thought that this is a demon. I was so scared. I couldn't walk home because she was walking my direction. And I was walking faster and faster. I didn't want to run, right? Because you don't know what happens then. And on one point, I looked back and I couldn't see her anymore. So I was relieved. So I just, you know, kept walking, going for my night walk because I couldn't sleep. And then at one point, I arrived at the bridge. And on the other side of the bridge, I saw a person. By the way, there was nobody outside. There was no soul except me and this homeless person. So I'm at this bridge and I see another person on the other side. But I couldn't really see who that is. And I was walking and my mind told me like, this is the same, this is the demon. But I was like, no, 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 that cannot be. I mean, I mean, I, she was behind me and suddenly she, she, she was gone. She cannot be now in front of me. I walked closer and closer and at one point my heart, it feels like my heart, you know, sinked into my pants. It, it, it's just like, it was horrible feeling because I saw it's the demon. And I'm like, fuck, I couldn't run away. I felt paralyzed, literally, I felt paralyzed. And then she comes closer and closer and closer and we just passed by. And I had a huge relief again. I'm like, fuck, what just happened? So, sorry for my swearing. But I'm like, what just happened? I was in shock, literally. I couldn't understand what happened because I seriously believed that this is a demon. I went back home and that night I decided to change. I said, enough is enough. Because I realized that this demon was the negative force working against me. And it was my creation. So what is the negative force? The negative force is you. It's your mind, your ego your identity and it's the part of you that you don't want to let go of it's the part of you that you hold on to and it almost feels like it's not you that's why i say this negative force working against you but in reality it's you the night i decided to change it i said enough is enough i went so deep like sometimes you see people in the outside being happy but you don't know what they feel in the inside and that's what matters when you want to manifest things in your life in the inside, you have to feel really good. You cannot fake it. The universe knows if you try to fake it. So yeah, I said I changed my life and I did a few things that I want to tell you now, guys, so you can make the law of attraction work because I went from this space, literally the worst space I've ever been in, like emotionally, mentally, but also financially. I was in debt. I had no money for several months, had no food. I was like finding food, like getting there were food places where you could get food for free, but it was really old food. That's how I ate. It was horrible, literally. And this is also a thought you should always keep because it's really about authenticity. The universe knows when you try to fake it and it knows what is real. And whatever you really feel, no matter how much positive thoughts you think, is what you manifest. So to know and not to do is not to know. I say it again. To know 
and not to do is not to know. And so many times, and that's what I call the ego, so many times we think we know already, and that's exactly the problem. I thought I, I already know the law of attraction. I already read the books, I already do affirmations, I already meditate, I already do gratitude. But I didn't really do it. So what can you do now to change that? The first thing I needed to do is become humble. And that is again, to know and not to do is not to know. That means being humble. That means having a real hard look on yourself and not pretending anymore. Like what are you really doing? What are you really implementing? And the second thing is like I needed to accept. I needed to accept my situation. Because as long as I was, as long as I was rejecting my situation and pretending like I'm successful, it's, it, 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 it just couldn't change. So at that point I needed to accept my situation. I needed to become humble, then accept my situation. Which also means loving yourself for where you're at. Because as long as you're gonna judge yourself and hate yourself and criticize yourself and tell yourself, I, I shouldn't be here, I should be further. I have all these dreams. Why I didn't why why couldn't I achieve any of them? Or like why am I not as far as I already wanna be? As long as you have these thoughts, it's not gonna work. So self-acceptance and self-love is very, very important, especially if you're in a bad place. This is the first thing you have to do. And thinking positive and vision boards and all these things, it's just gonna make it worse. Because again, if you're in a space of self-criticism, self-judgment, you're very harsh on yourself, these things are gonna trigger just more of self-criticism, self-judgment, and even self-hate in some cases. The third thing I needed to do is gratitude, but the real gratitude. And I felt like I never felt that grateful because I wasn't accepting my situation. I was pretending that I'm someone else, somewhere else. In the moment I was becoming more humble, accepted and loved myself again, then gratitude suddenly worked much better. Suddenly I could feel real, real deep gratitude. And I've done a gratitude exercise, a meditation for 30 minutes. I did it in the evening and then the next morning I woke up. The exact next day, everything shifted because I made the shift. I let go of the negative force that was holding me back for so long. First, it needed to go down really bad. I needed to arrive at a very bad place to finally let go, to finally give up. So many people talk about don't give up, don't give up. Yes, long term, don't give up. But short term, you have to give up some stuff. Because what I've done, you know, the photography, all these dreams that I had around that, it wasn't serving me anymore. It was just putting more pressure, more stress, more self-criticism, more self-judgment on myself. So I needed to let go and I needed to give up. And then I literally did everything I could to feel better. Because I was humble again, I wasn't shy about taking another job, you know. I, I was looking for jobs because I knew if my financial situation now improves, just slowly, I don't need to become a millionaire in a year. That's not the goal. It's too far. Again, this will trigger so much self-criticism and self-judgment. I just needed to tell myself I am okay. I'm okay where I'm at. I love myself for, for who I am right now and where I'm at. And I'm just going to do one step at a time from here, from this point, not from where I, th I think I am. You see the problem? So I was looking for a job. I found one immediately. It, everything shifted immediately. And long story short, today I'm at a very different place, but I also needed to be patient. So again, what can you do? I don't know your exact situation, but I guess since you clicked on this video, you're not in a good position right now. And you're very frustrated because you thought that law of attraction is your answer, but it never worked. And I can assure you that the law of, law of attraction works, but you have to be in the right space. And you need to stop pretending. You need to stop thinking too far. You need to accept and love yourself where, for where you're at. And you need to become humble, because only then you can really use the law of attraction. You cannot fool the law of attraction, okay? That's very important. But so many of you, you're in a very bad position, but you are thinking about making 10, 20K a month. This is too far. Again, you're triggering negative emotions in you. That's why it never worked. You're, you are basically 
fueling the negative force. The more you think about your big goals that are super far away, the more it creates negative feelings of not good enough, of being small, of not being far enough, which fuels the negative force that works against us. And the more you fuel that negative force, the bigger it becomes and the harder it is to stop it. For some of you, you need a real bad experience to stop it, you know, to become humble again. But I really hope after watching this video, you can tell yourself it's okay. Slow down, stop, give it up and start where you're at. Start from the point you're at. Stop comparing yourself with other people that are already further. I know it's very hard with social media and that was my struggle. I was watching all these people that were already living my dreams of being you know, independent, having enough money to travel and not having a job. I looked at these people, but you need to start where you're at. You have to, otherwise it won't work. You have to become more kind to yourself. You have to accept yourself. You have to love yourself. You have to become more humble. And then the thoughts you will think will be much more genuine. They will be much more pure. And they actually don't trigger negative feelings in you. I hope that makes sense. If you need more help, sign up to my free Manifest Your Dreams community. It's completely for free. So if you want to talk to me, if you need more help, get in there. Let's talk. I'm happy to help. Because I know I cannot answer like literally everything in one video. But yeah, if you want to learn more how my journey was over the last two years, because I know the law of attraction for about eight years. And the last two years were really the years where I could make it work. And if you want to know more about that, click on the video somewhere there. And hopefully that gives you more inspiration to really make it work this time because it is working. It does work. It's just like the negative force is working against you, right? Basically making the law of attraction work in a negative way. And you want to stop that and make it work in a positive way. So click on the video and we'll see each other soon.